In the next video, we will discuss the Routes tool. The Routes tool allows users to quickly create new routes or modify existing routes. Tap on the Routes tool icon in the toolbar. In this window, the user can access a list of existing routes or create a new route or import a route from a desired path. To create a new route, tap on Create, indicated by the circle plus sign in the top of the window. In this window, the user may select a specific address for navigation. The star point listed will be the current location of the user. To manually enter a destination address, simply tap on the checkered flag box and begin typing the desired address. The user may also tap on the crosshair button, which will allow the user to manually tap on a location on the map screen, which automatically populates the corresponding address in the new route window. Tapping on the history button to note by a clock will allow the user to view the recent addresses previously used. Scrolling down, the user may select the routing method by tapping on the drop down menu. Tap on Google Routing, which utilizes the VNS plugin loaded on the device. The user may select a routing preference as desired by checking the associated box. Tap Create to create this route. Tap the persistent back. To manually create a route, tap on the Create a Route button and tap Manual. Select a route type window will appear. Select the method of movement, then tap OK to begin building the route. Tap on a location on the map to make it part of the route. Long pressing on the location creates checkpoints along the route, and tapping creates waypoints along the route. Tap on Undo to reverse any changes. The user has the option to select Draw, which will enable a telestrate function where the user can press and draw along the desired route. Tap on Draw again to deactivate the drawing function. Once the created route is completed, Tap in to complete the route. The route details are presented. In this window, additional details may be changed, such as the route name and color. Cues are navigational reminders or notes for that particular position. Cues are assigned by tapping on the box located to the right of the checkpoint box. A queue window will appear, allowing the user to select a desired preset queue. To enter a custom queue, Tap the text box to access the device's keyboard and tap the desired queue. Tap OK. To edit the route, tap on the pencil button located at the bottom of the window. Here, users can make adjustments to the route. Tap on a waypoint to open the radio menu. To convert waypoints into checkpoints, tap on the circle button. To convert checkpoints into waypoints, simply tap on the desired checkpoint to access the radio menu, then tap Delete. Tap on End to exit the edit mode. To navigate the route, tap on the Go button located to the right of the route name. Tapping on the double arrows will allow the user to tether to any point along the route. The distance, speed, and estimated time of arrival will adjust when movement is recognized. The navigation mode will end once the final destination is reached or the X button located below the speed is tapped. Tap the route button. Here, you will see the route listed along with any other routes you have downloaded or created. Tapping on the green radio button will hide the route on the map screen. Tapping on the right arrow will bring up the following options. Enter details mode, send the route, navigate the route, edit the route, create a new reverse direction route, which reverses the current route for return navigation, and delete the route. This concludes the routes tool.